another exciting edition of NBA basketball. DA, it's all yours. Thanks, Kevin. Last season. Yeah, pretty unanimous, David. You're right. Thank you. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. The wing set for him, Levine and DeRozan. The eraser is out there with the beast, and it's Dosunmu in at the one spot. And for the Warriors, we'll see Wiggins and Green play in the forward spots. Curry is out there with the magician, and it's Howard in at the center position. And what makes Chicago tricky to defend, Kevin, they just have such a balanced attack. They can score in the paint from mid-range or hurt you from deep. Wiggins outside. The pass to Magician. Up again. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. Now the Bulls with it. Outside DeRozan. Pass to Dosun. Pass to the Eraser. Shot clock at three. Levine's shot is off. You know, as the Bulls have become a more veteran team, Greg, it feels like they've settled into what they do well. And you need a strong identity to be successful in this league. Chicago is building towards that, but it does take time. Pass to DeRozan. Shoots over Curry. No good. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. The pass to Magician. At the tip. And Howard with the second chance points. Howard's got the game going with his first points of the game for the Warriors. Boy, he carved out a lot of space down low. Dwight Howard's a guy who works to get rebounding position. Al Levine passes it to Dosunri. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. Green left side. It's deflected. Here's the beast. Guarded by Green. Here's Levine. Around the back and lays it in. The added strength coming into play. Zach Levine just shrugging off the contact inside. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And you got to love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Here's the beast. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And once you get the height advantage from there, no need to mess around. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Uh, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. Warriors 16. Bobbed up there for Howard. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Inside. The 10-footer. And it's Chicago scoring again. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Pass to Magician. Now here's Wiggins. Shoots over to Rosa. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Here's the eraser. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. And don't look now, but they're starting to extend this lead. They're doing it by building it out, step by step, valuing each possession. Curry passes to Wiggins. Knocks it loose. Six to shoot. Magician passes to Wiggins. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Chicago leading by eight. And as good as Draymond Green has been on the floor, this guy will be an all-time broadcaster, already a popular podcast. Great TV studio appearances as well. And you 
can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. This is my type of approach. Get some high percentage looks. Then later, you can play inside out. Timeout called the Warriors. And Draymond Green, the next broadcasting star. You've watched his work. Why is that? And Kevin, I think his basketball IQ is incredible. And we see that when he plays. But he can also vocalize it to the audience. And, of course, Draymond is not afraid to say what he thinks. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Kaminga comes in for Wiggins. And it's Clay Thompson in for the Magician. Curry looking it over. None of the miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. DeRozan with it, and Curry picks him up defensively. It's good from long range. Levine. Levine's got five. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Kaminga, no good. The Bulls leading by 13. The eraser passes to Dosunga. Howard against Levine. There's a minute left in the first. Shot clock at six. Here's DeRozan. And the Bulls tag on two more. It's impressive. The level of domination at both ends. And you're seeing the results. Especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd. They've been able to block out the distractions. Here's Curry. Green breaking loose and good that time. He is at a different level when you start talking about handling the basketball. One of the best to ever do it. Levine against Thompson. Got it. Nice one there from Levine. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. Pass to Howard. Back to Thompson. From deep. DeRozan with the rebound. And there's the pass to the eraser. Here's Dosunmu. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. Chicago shooting their first foul shots of the night here. And he knocks down the first one. Ayo Dosunmu. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. Rolls out front, leading by 17. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. through one quarter it's been a lopsided game we'll see if that changes here in the second and a comfortable margin for the Bulls here guys I mean the rebounding was the difference in that first period you've got to block these guys out yes you know this GA back in our day and any day really if you don't block out somebody you will sit down so on the floor for Chicago to start the second quarter Levine and DeRozan the lethal wing pair beast out there with the eraser and it's Dosunmu in at the one. He kicks two to Rosen. Some nice ball movement here by the Bulls. They get a hand on it. Howard with the steal. Passes it to Curry. Here's Magician. And the Warriors get it back. A nice shot by Howard. Nice use of physicality by Dwight Howard inside. He really doesn't hold anything back. Now here's Levine. Defense right on him. Here's the eraser. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. The eraser's got eight. And different games, different officials. Something that might be called a foul in one game, Greg, may not be called in the next as a player. How do you adjust to that? Yeah, it's a great question, and that's part of being a veteran. I, I learned early on, you actually scout officials the same way you scout the players. They have tendencies as well. And now the first time I've called here for the Bulls.
Goran Dragic has checked in for the Bulls. Bulls leading by 12. Outside the Rosen. Kicks it to Levine. Outside Dragic. Lock at six. The baseline J. Nice work on the boards, paying off with the basket. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First That's on Goran Dragic. And one of the many special things about Steph Curry is loyalty. Sticking with this Warriors franchise since being drafted back in 09. And talking about Steph, he is the face of the franchise. And his loyalty is shown. Steph's been a model citizen, never complains, never causes any issues, willing to work with young teammates. He is the ideal superstar to build around. DeRozan passes to the eraser. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. Warriors trailed by 12. Pass to Howard. Outside green. Down low. Here's Magician. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. Second. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Bulls? For me, they made a point to attack inside early in the game. And it's paid off for them. A lot of solid looks in the paint. And also have to bring up their passing game. They've been moving the ball with great precision so far and creating great looks for their teammates. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Outside Dragic. Pass to DeRozan. From outside, off the mark. The Warriors have gone three or four from the floor here in the second quarter. Curry fires from way outside. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Curry's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Warriors. Back to Levine. Outside Dragic. It's stolen by Curry. I mean, the last guy you want to foul in this league, Steph Curry is automatic at the line. The Warriors shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Stephen Curry. Taking two shots. The first one falls. You've got to respect Steph Curry's willingness to carry the load. He never backs down from a challenge, and he will work himself to the bone trying to provide for his team. Stephen Curry hits them both. Bulls leading by five. Outside Dragic. Levine for three. The Beast stayed with it, but they couldn't get it to fall. On offense, here are the Warriors. They're on a 16-4 run. Wiggins dishes to Howard. Fires for three, and Wiggins gets it to go on the assist by Howard. Well, this is a smart play by Dwight. Doesn't have a shot himself, so he moves the ball. Time call here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. You look for them to come out much more aggressive. How about the Warriors' Dynasty domination? Give them a hand. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. And he's going up for the alley oop. Here's the pass to Magician. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Seven points for Magician. For Chicago, they've gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far. And DeRozan kicks to Levine. Here's the Beast, the Mike Green. 
Shot clock at five. Here's DeRozan. And the Bulls with another miss. Golden State's gotten it going from downtown in the second quarter. They're three and three on three pointers. Bobbed up there for Howard. An unselfish wing who continues to evolve as a playmaker. Wiggins shows he's more than just a scorer. That was the 2K drop, as that move deserved another look. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Shots good by the Beast. Assistant, Goran Dragic. 131 left in the first half. Curry kicks to Wiggins. Curry passes to Howard. And it's Dragic with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Osumu, he's checked in for Goran Dragic. Golden State moving it around. Over to the left wing. And it's Magician missing. Chicago's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. The eraser passes to Levine. On the wing to Rosen. He's guarded by Howard. The eraser. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. DeRozan's got three assists now in this one. Now here's Curry. Tight defense on him. Stephen Curry continues to develop all aspects of his game. The next step was to get the ball into the paint. He's done that. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. And over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. And some changes here for the Warriors. Iguodala comes in for Tremont Green. And it's Clay Thompson in for Wiggins. That's good awareness from DeRozan. Spots the open man. That speaks to his all-around game. 34 seconds left now here in the second. Howard draws the double. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And so here is Golden State. Passes it to Dosunmu. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Pass to the Beast. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. Here's Magician. Fires the three. Hits it from three-point range. Magician's got ten points. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Bulls lead by two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow. Right here. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sport. Chicago holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They have a two-point lead. Kenny, how'd you see it? You know every team talks about playing unselfishly. And in the first half, it didn't look like there was an ego on this team. Now, looks can be deceiving, but the assist totals back up what we saw. Shaq, how'd you think the Warriors were playing? I like their commitment to getting to the line. Their aggressive approach is frustrating the defense. I like that. They're drawing fouls at a very high rate. I like that. Wouldn't be surprised if someone gets ejected. I will like that, too. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. What can you say? The Beast, an impressive effort here today. Yeah, and early on, he has been feasting in the paint, and, and you have to think they're going to keep feeding the big fella. Why go away from something that's working? 
force the defense to prove that they can stop it. So with Thompson sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. We'll see Wiggins and Green play in the forward spot. Magician is out there with Stephen Kerr. And it's Howard in at the five spot. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. That's just staying in the moment, keeping with the current possession. The Warriors have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. And last season, 77% from the line. They could usually get the job done there. Has to do sooner. Out to the wing. Levine wide open. A three-pointer is right on target. He's got 10. Love the confidence from Zach at the arc. He doesn't doubt himself for a second. Steve, it's been tremendous to see Zach Levine reach his all-star potential in recent years. Kevin, you can tell he's loving it too, right? But yeah, this was a long time coming. He's at the top of his game, earning his spot among the best players in this league, Kevin. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. They had a nice score that came from just attacking the rim. Huge play in this hotly contested game. And it's Magician missing. Chicago has gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. The Beast can't hit. Golden State's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Outside Curry. Howard kicks to Curry. Green breaking loose. And there's Stephen Curry on the assist by Howard. And now a three point Warrior lead. Outside Levine. Wiggins against DeRozan. Back to Levine. Just five on the clock. Fires from the line. And the Bulls with another miss. Warriors leading by three. The best, the magician. From deep three-point range, DeMar DeRozan grabs the board. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. That's just being out of sync and at the worst time. Costly. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Curry passes to Magician. Green breaking loose. Magician's shot is good. Magician's got the lead up to six now for the Warriors. Passes to Dosumo. DeRozan again to Wiggins. In the corner, it's Levine. Now, here's Dosumu. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. Warriors leading by six. Here's Wiggins, and Wiggins throws it down. And he has a knack to score on the move. Wiggins stays in control even when he's at full speed. Chicago calls timeout. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. And the Warriors with some changes. Kamingas come in for Green. And it's Thompson in for Stephen Curry. Then for the Bulls. White is checked in for Levine. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dosumu. The base passes to Caruso. Tipped away. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. The Warriors making a switch here. Iguodala is checked in. Andre Iguodala. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Clock at four. Howard with it. Now guarded by DeRozan. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by DeRozan. Howard. 
front kicks to Igudal. Here's Magician. 16 points for him. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. As the lead continues to grow, this is just heady, sound basketball. They have just nailed their halftime adjustment. That's for sure. They don't want to have to sweat this one out. They're looking to pull away. Number two. Bulls trail by 11. Two minutes remaining. Outside, White. Back to Caruso. To the left side wing. The Beast can't hit. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. All you see is a lot of frustration. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. Chicago's gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. They need this one. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Warriors. They've been lights out from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them, so they have just stuck with the game plan. And tonight we've also seen a lot of great play from them inside. They've been consistent in terms of attacking the interior of this deep. Thompson looking for an opening. Just five to shoot. Shot's good by Iguodala. Iguodala's got his first basket. Even with the D in Iggy's grill, he still knocks down those looks. He's been in this league for a while, and he is comfortable rising up and burying contested shots. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. No clue where that pass is going. That is a brutal turnover. Looney's checked in for Golden State. Thompson with it. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Pass to Magician. Igudala outside. From outside the arc, Chicago grabs the miss. The Erasers got six rebounds in the game. On the wing, Thompson. Here's Magician, defended by Caruso. He gets it in there. Thompson's got his first points of the night. And Thompson's coaching staff encourages him to take quick shots. They know how deadly he is. And here is Caruso. Pass to the Beast. Back to Caruso. And that's the final possession with the nice defense right there. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. And they've created a bunch of turnovers with that terrific D. We'll return shortly. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Here's Curry. On the court for the Bulls, getting this fourth quarter started. The wing set for him, Levine and DeRozan. The eraser is out there with the Beast, and it's Dosunmu in at the point. Curry fires from way outside. Rebound by the Bulls. DeRozan dishes to Levine. Six on the shot clock. Knock loose. From deep. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Fades back. And it's Iguodala missing. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over Now here's Levine. D right on him. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Kevin, what's so impressive to me about Levine 
it's the all-around play. He affects the game across the board. And Levine's efficient as well. And good shooting numbers, no doubt. Last year, he cut back on the turnovers. And boy, he's still young. There's still tons of upside Take a break. to be had. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. Despite facing criticism along the way, Zach Levine's blocked out all the haters. Now he's one of the most prolific scorers in this league. Howard's checked in for Golden State. Wiggins passes to Howard. Here's Magician. Golden State moving it around. Green deciding where to go with it. Now the pass to Magician. Golden State needs to get off a shot. A three-pointer. Wiggins and the Warriors get it back. Howard lays it up off the glass. And the Warriors lead by 13. Just overwhelming the D with this strength. Dwight Howard is used to having to score through contact. Here's Levine. That one off the back iron and out. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. Here's Magician. They get the rebound. And it's Howard finishing it off. Still a monster down low. Dwight is tough to handle. Bulls trailed by 15. Outside Levine. Here's Dosunmu. And the Bulls with another miss. Warriors have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter, so they are two of six. Passes it to Magician. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. First team foul. At the line for the Warriors. First one falls for him. Number 23. Two shots. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Levine. Pass to Dosunmu. Now DeRozan. Covered by Wiggins. DeRozan passes to the Beast. No good there. Great tee that time from Green. Wiggins against DeRozan. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one on DeRozan. And this is encouraging. Wiggins looking committed to shooting and forcing the D to compromise. That free throw missing. Second free throw, no good. Bulls trailed by 17. Shot from 16. DeRozan's shot is off. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Five on the clock. Howard finds Curry. This one for three. That's tipped. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Oh! And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Oh, here he comes, and there he goes. Oh, look at him punish that rim. You know we have to see that great mobile one drive one more time. And that's a thing of beauty. Certain plays, almost no words. You just sit back and appreciate. Here's Magician, guarded by Levine. Here's Howard. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He is seven for nine. I love to see this intensity from Dwight Howard overcoming the interior defense. Chicago calls timeout. And a wise move to call timeout there. Uh, they need to settle down a bit. They've been playing out of control at times here, and it shows with their turnover numbers. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Dwight Howard. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. That has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, 
the deeper that connection gets. Higgins outside. Poke loose. Here's Green. With one on the clock. And it's Howard finishing it off. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Warriors. Their superior ball handling won it for them. And, and fewer turnovers equals greater scoring opportunities. Any coach will tell you that. If you take care of the ball every possession, and this is a perfect example of what happens when you do. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and looking at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Howard. He played with a lot of fire, a lot of heart, especially on the glass. He's one of those guys who acts like every rebound is his, and many of them were tonight. Curry passes it to Green. And they call an illegal screen here. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Green. Iguodala comes in for Andrew Wiggins. Thompson, he's checked in for Magician. And it's Ty Jerome in for Stephen Curry. In the corner, Drummond with it. Bradley passes to Caruso. And again, Chicago, no good. Iguodala outside. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent 